Turner's Troubles unexpectedly comes from Chuki Kimata and it's a privileged experience to be here because I've seen pictures of this hole, this pit, this massive mine which is the biggest open air mine in the world. It's in Chile. It produces copper. So to come here is an honor because the company called Cordelco, the mining company, have allowed me and a few other people to come here this afternoon. The mine is going to be expanding for another 60 years, so it is sure to hold another world record that Chile possesses, besides being the most seismic country in the world with the greatest strength of earthquake. They produce here a lot of copper. Copper accounts for Chile producing 35% of its GDP. The cost of copper, or the value of copper, has diminished 50% in the last three years. So that means a country such as Zambia or Chile, which produces so much copper, depends upon the world market prices, and the market has plummeted. Other countries such as Kenya producing tea, flour, cement, Dominican Republic, Cuba with sugar cane, they depend on world prices, so the economy will only grow or shrink accordingly. And in Chile, compared to receiving money for the pound in 2010, we're receiving more pesos for the pound, so the drop in the value of copper has an effect on the value of its currency. This mine here has a fault line. You can just about see the fault line there. They are now going to be going into the side walls. The noise that you're going to pick up now is from one of these massive trucks. And we can swing the camera around. These trucks cost about 35 million pounds. They have a life expectancy of 10 years. Their tires are four millimeters in diameter. A tire will cost about 25,000 pounds to replace. They are made in Japan or in Germany. around to show the whole mine then we're going to pan slowly backwards pan deep go deep down into the mine give a walk we go down into the mine see how deep it is over a kilometer deep three kilometers wide four kilometers long the biggest man-made pit in the world it's destined to get bigger, produce more copper. It used to be the highest producing mine in the world, but now I believe it's taken over by a mine near Antofagasta. But this is a monumental site. Turner's Travels is delighted to be here because throughout my childhood, I've seen pictures in books showing this phenomenon. And I did not know that a few people had the privilege of coming here. We owe our thanks to the company called Codelco. They bring us here in a coach. You turn up to their office after emailing them. They give you a uniform to wear, safety instructions. And the tour guide is from Honduras. He speaks really clear English, clear Spanish, and he explains everything to us. It's a wonderful experience to be here, and it's devised to encourage you for Turner's travels. As a school teacher, Mr. Turner says to you, learn about development, the economy of our country, Britain, the economy of the developing world. Chile is a country of medium income. It depends on copper. It is slowly developing. The roads, the infrastructure is slowly improving in Chile and copper is helping pay in the way. 
it's Turner's Travels saying the last word to you children if you're watching please take development in GCSE GCSE seriously take an interest in it and come and see some countries where they have topical themes of development such as cobbery copper and chili it's Mr. Turner signing off Buenos Tardes good afternoon